First on my left, we've got Brother Isa. Brother Isa accepted Islam approximately three years, three years ago. Yeah. And was it at the Masmin Center that you actually did your Shahada? Oh, it was. It was uh, right here in this uh, upstairs. Excellent, excellent. And so so uh, you've, you've, you've started to get to know the people, the brothers and sisters in the community. Let me ask you a question that I guess, I'm sure you get asked a lot. Why did you embrace Islam? I do get asked this question a lot. And um, I could say that the, the most convincing reason for me was Islam's uh, logical nature. Uh, I had a lot of questions. And I found that Islam really you know, quenched uh, the thirst that I had. Um, I felt that everywhere I looked in the you know, observational world that I could see everything had a perfect code of conduct. Everything had a sort of a, a, a set of rules that it followed. The plants and the animals and, and even uh, evolution and everything had a, a, a really refined uh, course that it was taking. Except for humans. And humans had this ability to really make their own choices and kind of, it was very subjective. And in terms of moral questions, social questions, economic questions, political questions, it's so subjective. And when I look at the, the world, I see that everything is one way and it couldn't be another way, at least in the context that it was uh, created. So for me, my biggest question was, is there also a set of rules, a course that I'm supposed to be taking? It, can that be a subjective opinion, or is it something that is universal and for the common good? And when I started looking into Islam, I looked into a lot of religions. Uh, I grew up as a Christian, um, and I started finding a lot of similarities between Christianity and Islam in terms of their, their code of conduct, their you know moral code of conduct. Um, and, and I looked at a lot of other religions, and I found that really the major uh, point to our religion is to be a good person. I guess, at the end of the yeah, day, excellent. it's to become a good person. Excellent. And my question at that point was, okay, so how do I become a good person? If there's one person in the entire world that would know, it would have to be God. So I asked God, how, how is it that I can achieve you know, the pinnacle of my, my humanity? Excellent. And when I started looking into Islam, I found that even though there were things that maybe seemed a little uh, contradictory to what I believed, or they, they gave me a little bit of a challenge because I had notions already that I conceived myself, I thought, okay, despite that, maybe I could be wrong because everybody has a different opinion. Maybe I could be wrong. And when I looked at it closely and analyzed it, and I realized that we can take these arguments and let's take them in a very objective, rational way, uh, devoid of emotion, bring, a, bring everyone's arguments to the table. Islam, I, I can honestly say I'm completely convinced that it will not lose. Excellent. That's, that's some very profound, uh, profound words. Now let me ask you a question in, in closing. Um, was there something that you read in particular that kind of really set, set out a clear path towards Islam? Was it the Quran, maybe a Hadith, maybe some advice, someone you talked to? Because it's always good to, to know what, what really uh, uh, caused you, right? Because a lot of times everybody has research. But a lot of times your research is inconclusive until you read something that motivates you to, 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 to really take that leap of faith. What was that in your case? In my case, I would have to say that, well, there were two things. Um, the Bible is really where I started. Excellent. Uh, and, and I started doing a lot of uh, comparisons between the Bible and the Quran, and I was finding that you know, they're really not so different. Exactly. Uh, and in terms of prophecies and everything, it's remarkable, some of the things that you'll yeah. find. Yeah. Uh, and also, the, it, within the Quran, one of the most m fascinating aspects of it to me was the, the scientific uh, advancement of right. this book. Excellent. Written 1,400 years ago and giving insight as to, uh, towards things that we're just coming to know within the last 20 years. Excellent, excellent. You, you make some great points. And, just to kind of uh, build on some of his points, um, a lot of times when you start to, to really look at things from a third party perspective is the only way that you actually find the truth. So when, when Brother Isa, he, he, was, he was following uh, Christianity, but then he, he wanted to, uh, he, wanted, he laid all the facts on the table and he saw that there was a, 
uh, a more rational way uh, to, to live his life and to practice uh, his religion. And when he's talking about code of conduct, that makes perfect sense. So we as Muslims have to look at ourselves and see, are we following that code of conduct that we should, that the Prophet and the Masameen lived?